Hi guys, N0ECK here. So remember that Romex J pole we built a little while back? Well today, it faces round two. So remember I said I was gonna recycle this antenna? We will. I straightened it out, we're gonna add three radials and test it as a quarter wave vertical versus the J pole. So if you've never built a quarter wave ground plane before, K7AGE has a great video on that and I'll uh, link to it in the description. I'm gonna change up my testing a little bit this time. One, I'm gonna use RG8X instead of 50 feet of RG58, just to uh, give it a little bit less loss in the cable. And then what I did was I just attached the radials. I'll go ahead and secure those down so they're not flopping around. We'll give it a test on the analyzer, get the radials bent down to about a 45 degree angle, and then we'll uh, get it on the air. I almost forgot to mention. I also made a mild modification to K7AGE's design. I put little twists on the end of the cables so that they don't poke an eye out. As before, I started the test with a baseline using the MFJ whip on my handheld. Then I hung the J-pole and tested it into the local repeaters at both high and low power. The reduced feed line loss appears to have helped as the J-pole now brings up repeaters to about 35 miles. It also brings up the closest UHF repeater on low power. It was time to test the quarter wavelength vertical into the same repeaters. I hung it from the jack eyed pole and was able to bring up the same repeaters as the J-pole except the closest UHF repeater on low power. So as it looks right now, I'm pretty sure the antennas are performing about the same. Let's give it a test with Alex. N0ECK on antenna one, how does it sound? So I got a baseline with the vertical into a nearby repeater and also got an S-meter reading on Simplex when Dan, AB0RE, came on frequency and gave me his signal report. I was about an S1 to Alex, but readable, and about an S5 to Dan. The J-pole was put back on the jackite pole and tested in the same manner. The J-pole brought up the repeater just fine, but I was unreadable on Simplex to Alex and about an S4 to Dan. So as far as bringing up distant repeaters, they test out about the same. As far as uh, S meter readings from a couple of friends, the quarter wave kind of wins. And if you take into account the portability options and the fact that you can hang the J-pole in the tree, it, it pretty much performs pretty well. There's no one antenna for any situation. There's no one best antenna, really. So I'm going to call this one a tie. 7-3, join the resistance. <laughs>